effect, however, are fantastic because unlike other exercises, we innervate about 90% of our muscle fibers, which typically we only innervate 65 to 75% on a typical exercise. The force generated to redirect the motion of your body that's going towards the ground is approximately double that of an exercise without the acceleration. You can put one shirt underneath the top book if you want to cause less friction and just to allow the books not to slide. With jagged poppers, follow the same concept as you did for the regular peck poppers, except only the hand in front is on top of the books. One hand resides in the back one inch in parallel to your chest, while the other hand sits four to five inches in front of your body and is on top of the books. This exercise acts like a flat bench and incline bench all wrapped into one. Both the pack poppers and jagged pack poppers can be done from the knees. Uh, we do that if it deems to be too difficult or if you merely want to build your strength to enable yourself to conduct the exercises from your feet. Reaching press ups don't deliver the same acceleration as the poppers we just did, but this exercise does build the thickness around our chest perimeter while also building up the triceps which are located in the back of our arms. After each press, we will momentarily hold our bodies up and then we will proceed to drop back into the press again. When we're holding ourselves up, we're actually stabilizing using all the fibers within our tricep to do so. For vertical flies, pull the cans up and bring them together between eye and nose level. When bringing them up from your waist, keep your palms up. This will work your biceps eccentrically, but won't work them as much allowing you to hit the proper part of your chest. For reverse chest presses, you're going to pull the cans up with straight arms to about chin level. Then let them drop an inch or two while tilting your shoulders forward and bringing your elbows back. Then erect your body straight again while pressing the cans straight out in front of you. For the next two exercises, attach one hand towel or t-shirt to the handles of the paint cans. This will allow for more comfort and mobility. For the reverse military press, we're going to push our arms directly up above our head, then bring it out in front of us for a reverse negative V-fly. This will hit the top of the chest and the inside for the way down. Now for the combination, we're going to put all three together. First, we start a V-fly, which leads into a reverse press, which then drops our hands below our chest and then presses them up into the reverse military press. After the press, we'll straighten arms back out and do a negative V-fly. Remember, after we do the vertical fly, we're going to drop the weights so that we're able to bring our elbows behind our body. We're going to press it out in front, bringing the weights back to our hips so that we can do the reverse military press once more. For the sliding presses, you'll have a sock in one of your hands. That hand will be sliding out and then back in while the other hand acts as a pressing motion like a push-up. Like the single arm sliding press, we're going to slide both hands out at the same time and then we're going to slide them back in at the same time. Uh, this mimics the fly that you would make with dumbbells and works the inside of the chest. For alternating sliding presses, you're merely going to alternate which hand will slide out and slide back in until your chest feels complete. 